Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to talk about all the steps that are required for you to start working in Germany. So many of you have been asking me about this because this has to be clear to you. You have to understand. I think it's not clear in the minds of many of the candidates as to what they need to do. It's all a vague idea. So in this video, I wanted to break down the exact steps on how you can get to Germany, starting from absolute scratch. Let's say you're somebody who is just finished your MBBS, you've just finished your, finished your medical studies, you're doing your internship, or somebody who's already been working for a lot of years in your home country and you've planned on coming to Germany. Let's say you're starting from absolute scratch. So these are the steps that you have to go through to start working in Germany. Number one, get your B2 German language certificate. Number two, send your documents to the medical council and get something called a deficit Bescheid. Number three, once you have a deficit Bescheid, apply for a visa and come to Germany and apply for your Fachsprachenprüfung exam. Number four, apply for your temporary registration so that you can start working in Germany on a temporary registration. Number five, take your registration exam or also called the Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung or called the Kentnis Prüfung to get your permanent registration. The other word for permanent registration in German is approbation or approbation, which is nothing but your permanent registration. Once you have your permanent registration, you are just like, just like any other German doctor and you can work in Germany where you want, whenever you want, and in whichever state you want. You can also work in any of the European U Union countries. It doesn't matter where, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, Ireland, Spain, France, Bulgaria, Romania, Croatia, all these countries belong to the European Union and you can work in any of these countries, all the member states of the European Union. Of course, you have to learn the language of that particular member state country. For example, in my case, once I had my approbation, I had plans of working in Norway because there was a lot of demand from Norway. They were ready to give me Norwegian classes because they wanted doctors from Germany to work in Norway. All I had to do was learn the Norwegian language because my degree from Germany was already valid there. I didn't have to take the registration exams in Norway. Just as an, just as an example, of course, I didn't take that offer because I preferred to stay in Germany and ultimately because my ultimate goal was to move to Switzerland. So let's go through these steps one by one. Number one, get your B2 German language certificate. This is by far the most important step. Once you have this, all the other steps are relatively easy. And like I've mentioned before, you don't have to take your A1, A2 or B1 exams. Of course, you have to study them, but there is no need to take these exams with these extra costs. Your aim should be to only take the B2 exam because this is the only certificate that they'll be asking for in Germany. They don't care about your A1, A2 or B1 certificate. They just care want to see your B2 German. How you got your B2 German language certificate doesn't matter. Once you have your B2 German language certificate, there is a list of documents that you need to have. You have to send your documents with your Approbationsantrag. This means an application for approbation. I will go into the details of this in a future video. So this particular form is available on several of the state medical council websites you have to download this document fill this document enclose all the documents that are required in this approbations antrag or the approbation application and you send it to the medical council of course your degree from your home country since you're from a non-eu country is not considered equal to that of a german degree there is going to be some deficit according to the German medical authorities. Your degree is not equal. The ultimate aim of all of this is so that your degree can be equalized to that of a German degree. So all the steps you're going to take is for this equalization. So your degree will have some kind of a deficit compared to the German degree and they will let you know of this, that your degree is not equal to that of a German degree and, th and there is a deficit. They will reply to your application by giving you something called a deficit Bescheid. 
Beshite means information. Another it could be roughly translated as information. So deficit Beshite, they will give you a letter saying that your degree is not equivalent to that of a German degree. And this reply is called a deficit Beshite. With this deficit Beshite, you can apply for a visa to come to Germany. Your B2 German language certificate with the deficit Beshite, there is no way you will not get a visa to come to Germany. So once you come to Germany, you apply for your Fachsprachenprüfung. That is the exam to check your German vocabulary. So this has got nothing to do with your medical knowledge. It is This is an exam purely to check your German medical vocabulary where you'll be taking a case and you'll be presenting a case all in German. You know, passing the B2 exam doesn't mean you will be fluent in German. So this is to check your German fluency in case taking and in interactions with patients. So let's say you pass this exam. Once you pass this exam, you may not get an appointment to take your permanent registration exam directly. That is your Gleichfertigkeitsprüfung or approbation exam, also called the Kentnis Prüfung. So this is the permanent registration exam. You may not get an appointment directly for this because of the backlog, because there are so many candidates ahead of you. In this case, you can start working in Germany on a temporary registration. And this is called the Berufs Erlaubnis. So Berufs Erlaubnis is nothing but a temporary registration to start working straight away so that you don't have to wait until you get your permanent registration. So for this, you need to have a contract from a hospital. So you approach a hospital. Usually it's best you start working there you apply for an observership position in this hospital and request the head of the department that you want to work in this department on a temporary registration that is with the Bureau of Sarlobnis. And once they issue a contract for you, with this contract, you go to the medical council and say, you know, I have a contract. Can you please issue me the temporary registration? So with the temporary registration, also called the Bureau of Sarlobnis, you can start working in Germany. This temporary registration is something like working under supervision. Basically, you're not supposed to do night shifts and things like that. You will be paid a normal salary straight away of 2,200 to 2,600 per month, which is more than enough to pay for all the exams, to cover your living expenses, etc., etc. Now, not all hospitals issue contracts for a temporary registration. There are hospitals that do it, but not all of them. So you have to persist until you get a contract for your Peru Salomnes. And sooner or later, you will get a letter from the medical council saying dates are available for you to take your permanent registration exam. Remember, this is your ultimate aim. Your ultimate aim is to take the permanent registration exam, also called the Kentnis Prüfung, also called the Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung. Like I've explained in my previous video, Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung, the other name for Approbationsprüfung means the deficit that you had is now going to be equalized once you take this exam. All this while, your degree is still considered lower than that of the German degree or of a lesser worth. And once you pass the Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung, you get your permanent registration. So you will be given a date for your registration exam, for your Kentnisprüfung, for your Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung. And once you pass this, you get your permanent registration or you get your Approbation and you will be considered an approbator arts or a doctor who has his approbation in German. Once you have this, you are just like any other German doctor, which means you can work in any of the states of Germany, in any of the European Union member state countries with absolutely no restrictions. You can choose whichever field you want. You can go to whichever hospital you want if they're taking you. You are absolutely free to work as a doctor in Germany, in any of the states of Germany, that is the 16 states of Germany, with absolutely no restrictions. These are all the steps. This has to be clear to you. You know, with many of the candidates, it's all muddled in their mind and they're not sure steps that they need to take to become a doctor in Germany. I hope this video has made it clear to you. These are the steps that you need to become a doctor in Germany. B2 German language certificate, deficit Bescheid, visa, Fachsprachenprüfung, temporary registration, also called the Berufserlaubnis, Approbationsprüfung, Kenntnisprüfung, 
or Gleichwertigkeitsprüfung to get your permanent registration, which is also called your approbation or approbation. And I hope it is clear with this video. If you have any questions, post them on my Instagram. My German course will be out within a week or two. And see you in the next video. Bye.